This may shock you, but a lot of foods out there are high in a certain toxin, and that is called glyphosate. It is a herbicide, very prevalent here in North America. Some of the even so-called health foods could be high in glyphosate. So I'm gonna go through a list of seven toxic foods that may be contaminated with that glyphosate. Number seven on my list is something that is gonna make a lot of you not so happy about, but yes, it may have that glyphosate and you wouldn't have expected it. Okay, number one on my list, oats. So yeah, your morning oatmeal, it could be granola bars that you're eating, you're giving to your children, it could be cereals as well. So breakfast cereals, if they are non-organic oats in here, most likely, especially here in North America, is going to be high in that glyphosate. And glyphosate is a big problem, as we know, because it causes gut health issues, a lot of gas and bloating. It actually destroys those tight junctions, opens up those tight junctions in the gut wall, and that can lead then to leaky gut syndrome, which we know is then correlated to autoimmune disorders, so thyroid disorders as an example. Okay, the second food on my list, wheat. Now, why does wheat cause so many difficulties and gluten sensitivities for people? Well, is it the gluten or is it the glyphosate issue because it is toxic to our gut? So again, wheat here in North America, very different from wheat in other parts of the world. Here, we've got a lot of that glyphosate, very destructive to our gut wall lining. Okay, number three, another toxic food is corn. So whether it's GMO, or if of course not organic, it's gonna have that glyphosate. It's just the nature of how modern agriculture is making now and growing corn. It has this common toxin, that glyphosate. Okay, number four on my list, orange juice. So they actually went and tested different orange juices off of the store shelf, and sure enough, they were all contaminated with that glyphosate. Number five on my list is crackers. So if you think about it, a lot of crackers are made with wheat. Maybe they're made with corn if they're so-called gluten-free, and they may be made with oats as well. So again, a common place to find that glyphosate toxicity. Always try to go organic with your crackers as well so you're not getting that glyphosate. Okay, number six on my list is store-bought cookies. Yes, again, they've tested these and they're high in glyphosate. So it's something that, again, you have to think if you're gonna eat cookies or give cookies to your children, maybe it's best to make them yourself and from organic ingredients, you know exactly what's going into them. And number seven on my list, you never would have guessed it, but wine can also have glyphosate. So it's something, again, maybe you can go with an organic wine, make it yourself if you have your own grapes. I know for most people that's just not gonna happen, but I just wanted you to know these seven toxic foods that are high in that glyphosate especially if you've got leaky gut issues you've got gut health issues a lot of gas and bloating these are the foods to avoid now for tips on how to improve your gut health please check out my video seven causes and tips for leaky gut i'll see you there